honestly, I got a chance to watch some of the episodes early. I, I've seen one through nine, and I haven't seen ten yet. So I've, I've you know, it's the tr- the hard part for me has really just been trying to hold on to all of the tweets that I had kind of pre-ready from when it was going to air. And so now that I finally get a chance to let those go out, it's, it's been great. But uh, I'm I'm excited to see nine and ten. We did an interview with my siblings and I. Uh, that I think is going to make an appearance in 10. So I'm interested to see it. You guys were young living through this. Was there ever a point where, you know, you reached a certain age where you like realized the magnitude of your dad, not just as the athlete, but as this pop culture icon, was there like a moment where you're like, wow, my father is Michael Jordan. Yeah. I think for me, maybe in like middle school around like sixth and eighth grade, you know, I started doing my own custom Jordan shoes, playing basketball in around sixth and eighth grade. And so you know, at eighth grade, I was, you know, playing in middle school and I was number one in the state and everybody was coming, you know, to our games and we were getting bigger crowds than usual. And so, you know, that's when it really started to settle in for me. And, you know, I started, you know, tugging on my dad's coattails a little more in terms of getting in the gym and, and picking his brain on, on different things. How hard was that? How hard was it being a, a kid, being an athlete and being Michael yeah. Jordan's son? Uh, You know, at an early age, there was some pressure, you know, but it was never something that I shied away from. You know, for me, I had the privilege of watching my brother, who's two years older than me. So he had to get thrown into the fire, you know, before I did. And so, you know, I had the privilege of kind of watching him and learning and kind of expecting, you know, assuming what was going to what was going to happen for me. And so, you know, it wasn't a lot of pressure. It's just something that, you know, I think early on, my dad instilled a, a work ethic in us that, you know, he wasn't going to be there to be able to save the day. We kind of had to, you know, have our own skills kind of speak for themselves and and hold our own. And so that's really what we went out and did. Two-part question. Best thing about being Michael Jordan's son, and then we'll follow it up with what's the worst thing? Okay. Uh, The best thing, honestly, man, there's just a lot of perks. You know, we, we were raised relatively normal. I say relative because, you know, I didn't take my first commercial flight until I was a junior in high school. You know, I grew up playing PlayStation on a, on a private jet. So it's not normal, but my mom, you know, she's from the south side of Chicago. And so she made sure that we stayed grounded and, you know, visited my cousins on the, on the south side a lot. And so, you know, we had a, a, a somewhat normal upbringing, going to public middle school, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, the, the, um, the negative or the worst thing would just be like, you know, having to operate under the assumption that people are always wanting something from you, you know, whether it's a Jordan shoe or, or a connection of some sort, you know, people always, you know, you have to operate under the assumption that people, you know, are coming around with their hands out. And so that's probably the only downfall. Other than that, there's a lot of plus sides. 